All right, in this video, we're going to look at the area of a complex shape. This is a tougher example than video number 11. Check that one out before moving on to this one here. I posted that video a few days ago and one of the comments I did get a very clever approach to solving the problem for this one here was that the person said, hey, they'll look at a big rectangle. So we would have, you know, this piece all the way across and, you know, this piece all the way down and they would find the area of that big rectangle and then they would subtract off this piece here and this piece here since that's technically cut out of that big rectangle. Very good approach there. I like that. However, in this example, what I want to encourage you to do when you're dealing with these types of problems is to break it up into shapes that you can find the area of. So we have these measurements given to us, 300 feet across the top, 410 feet across the bottom. We have the diameter of this half circle being 200 feet, and then we have some extra measurements here as well, this 100 feet and this 80 feet. So hopefully you can see here we have a darker triangle, a burgundy-ish square perhaps, and this half circle over here, some type of weird shade of yellow or green. So let's find the area of each one of these individual shapes. Let's add up all of those areas and then we will have the area of this complex shape. Looking at this burgundy-ish reddish colored, what appears to be a square, well, is it a square? As a matter of fact, it is because notice from here to here we have 200 feet and then from there up to the top we have an additional 100 feet that gives us 300 feet in all on this side of that shape well notice we have 300 feet across the top that means this piece here is in fact a square and the area of a square is going to be length times width or since it's 300 by 300 we take 300 feet times 300 feet we have 90,000 square feet that's a big square. Think about it, 300 feet by 300 feet. Pretty freaking big. So that's the area of this square. Now let's move over here to this half circle. The diameter right here in yellow, the diameter of this half circle is 200 feet, which implies that the radius of this half circle is going to be 100 feet. It's important to acknowledge that the radius of this half circle is 100 feet because to find the area of a circle, you have to use the radius. Now be careful when you find the area of this circle because technically this is a half circle. The area of a whole circle is pi times the radius squared, but since we want a half circle over here, we want to divide this area by two. We want half the area of a whole circle. Let's use 3.14 for pi and then let's multiply by the radius squared. We said the radius was 100 feet and then we will divide this by two. So speeding this up, doing this on the calculator, we have 3.14 times 100 times 100 again. That is 100 squared. And 3.14 times 100 squared is 31,400. Now let's divide that by 2 since we want the area of the half circle. And the area of that half circle will be 15,700 square feet. Last but not least, we have this triangle here, and we have to be careful with this triangle because we're missing this measurement here and this measurement going across here. But we can use some of the measurements in this problem to help us figure out what I would call the base down here and the height right here. This distance right here, let's be careful. Recall, 410 feet is the distance all the way across this bottom here with this green arrow or this green line. Now. From here all the way to right there, that is 300 feet, which matches the 300 feet up here. So if we have 300 feet across here, but yet 410 feet all the way across over here, the difference between 410 feet and 300 feet is 110 feet. That is the length of our base because 300 plus this 110 now gives us the 410 and all. I hope that makes sense there. From this corner here, all the way to right there is 300, plus an additional 110 for this piece here gives us that total 410 feet right there. Now let's do something very similar to find this right here, the height of this triangle. Well, take note, the height way over here, all the way from here up to the top was 300, same thing applies over here, but notice we're using 80 of it already. So the difference between 380 is going to be 220 feet. 
Now I'm sure that was hard to see, so I changed the colors there, but 220 feet is going to be the height of this triangle because if we take 220 plus this 80 up here, that is 300, which matches up with this side over here. And the area of a triangle is 1 half times the base times the height. Therefore, we have 1 half times our base of 110 feet times our height of 220 feet. So one way we could do this is we can go ahead and multiply the 110 times the 220. But now we want to find half of that, so we can just divide by 2. Therefore, the area of the triangle is 12,100 square feet. And finally, what we can do here for the total area, let's take the 90,000 plus the 15,700 plus the 12,100 square feet to get our total area of this complex shape. And adding up those three numbers, you will get 117,800 square feet for the total area. And there you have it, another problem of dealing with the area of a complex shape breaking it up into shapes that we can work with, such as a half circle, a square, and a triangle in this example. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.